Hi guys and welcome back to LPB Racing for the Reverse Grid Championship on GT Sport. This is a race two from Fuji in the GR2 cars. Again, rever reverse grid in this one, hence the Reverse Grid Championship. So Callum at the back from Bidster. And then at the front, we've got Lil Yam and Keith on the front row. And we're off. Good start by everyone in this time. As we go off towards the first corner, cars spreading out. As we look, and Lil Yam's in the lead, uh, Keith's in the lead into the first corner. Lil Yam goes out wide, gets hung out to dry. Danny Quaver having a little look, Rod has to sneaking through, a few cars on the grass, TY's out wide. Bidster and Callum taking it easy at the back. Keith in the lead then, from Jamo. Mr. Slow in third. Everyone piling through that little kink into 160R. As we go round 160R, Danny Quaver keeping task one behind. Keith under attack from Jamo at the front. Jamo goes into the lead. Keith second, Mr. Slow on third from Neil. Danny Quiver sixth, or probably back down to seventh because Tash One gets a good run out. Bidster and Callum trying to make their way through the field at the back. lilian has gone all the way to the back from the front row. But Lilian going to the back on purpose as odds. Oh, Mr. Slow on gets mobbed, hung out to dry, and then, oh, he's, he, for some reason his car resets itself. So, oh well, as TY now under pressure from Cyrex. Nick Hash there as well. We'll get a replay on what happened to Mr. Sloan after this first lap, but we've got Nick Hash there attacking Keith. Keith going backwards now. Neil's got through. Nick Hash next. Rod has through as well into second. There's a few of the cars further back. T1 under attack from Cyrex and seat one. Hoping for a better run out this time. Seat one in ninth place, drafting Cyrex. We've got Pizza in tenth. Danny Quaver eleventh. Callum thirteenth. Lilliam and Mr. Sloan to the back. As we've almost got three wide, Keith, Nick Hash and Task 1, but no. Nick Hash goes in, Task 1 goes through as well as Seat 1 goes right past. How he didn't hit anyone there, I do not know. But Seat 1 takes himself off, TY goes wide in the background as well. Bidster's closing up, he's past Danny Quaver. So Bidster on the move now. TY's his next victim, so two championship contenders here. Jamo's the other championship contender, he's out at the front. So Jamo's got a good lead in this, as Keith is now getting attacked by Cyrex, Cyrex goes around the outside, carries the momentum, Keith not at home at this track or at this car, it's not his a strong suit, but he's doing well, Callum meanwhile, OK, here's the replay of the first lap, looking at what happened to Mr Sloan, so watch the purple Nissan, just breaks too late, has to avoid everyone else, takes to the grass, and then as he's rejoining for some reason, it just respawns his car when I've not even got it set on that on the, in the rules, so I'm looking for Mr Sloan. Well, Callum meanwhile's broke, broken away from Bids doing 10th. Bids has got past uh, uh, Danny Quaver and Lil Yam's closed up as well. So Lil Yam trying to attack Bids to Bids has to defend now from Lil Yam as they go up the hill. But Bids to keep his position for now. As we look further up front, Rodas and Neil. Neil attacking Rodas for second place. And then I think he's got it. Rodas is going to look at the inside, but no, Neil farman has got it. Nick Ash right behind Rodas now. Looking to get the, to the switch back. And, oh, well executed there. Nick Ash gets ahead. Task one, Cyrex all in the draft. OK, here's a replay on lap two of what happened for, to Bidster for him to go all the way back. So into the corner at the end of 160R, Danny Craven just misses his breaking point, side swipes Bidster to the side and then Callum can't avoid either and then that's why Bidster goes backwards and Danny Craven does as well because Bidster had to pit as, uh, as a consequence of that action. Draft. So Jammo in the lead from Neil Farmack, Nick Hatch, Rodas, Tass 1, Cyrex as quick as that, boom 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 as we go down towards the first corner. And up back, further back here we've got Keith and TY as well, but we'll get back to this first pack as Rodas gets in the in the in the thick of things. Neil Farmack gets pushed out wide, Nick Hash goes through. Don't know if there was excessive contact there, but we'll have a look in a minute as Rodas goes through, so we'll get that a replay on that. As we look back at task one there in fifth place, Cyrex looking to pounce as well, all the cars quite close, Tass 1 has a little look at Rodas but no way through lane, Nick Hash getting under attack by Neil very close racing here, fantastic stuff Neil Farmack having another look, he's got, to, he's got to defend from Rodas now, Rodas having to go on the brakes, oh what a move Rodas straight up the inside, Neil Farmack loses speed, 
and then gets passed by Tass 1 and Cyrex. So just shows you one little move. Left him vulnerable, but he's not giving up. Right around the outside of Cyrex, fighting it out. Okay, Tass 1 goes up the inside of Rodas, contact. Got to be careful not to be too over ambitious with the moves. TY is joining this pack now. As we go into the last corner, Neil has a little look again. Tass 1 says, no, you don't, Sunshine. Shuts the door in his face. And now they're all drafting each other down the straight again. There's a little look back here. There's TY, there's Callum, Keith, Lilliam, C1, and oh, Bidster's gone back. Bidster's gone right back. So Bidster's made a mistake somewhere. We'll get a replay. As we look here down towards the first corner, Rod Astle in front. Neil going for a move on task one. Sarek's having a little look as well, but they all stay in formation. Nothing changed yet. As TY closes up onto the back of this train as well, there he is in the white NSX. The old 2008 NSX that's just been released on the new DLC in Gran Turismo. There's Ta Cyrex looking up the inside of Neil Farmack. Has he done it all? Oh, I don't know whether there was contact there. I think there might have been because Neil's gone backwards there. So Cyrex shoves his way through, but we'll get a replay. OK, here's on board with, on with Neil Farmack. So we're going to look back now at Cyrex to see what happens. So you see, we go a bit wide into here. Cyrex goes up, goes to the inside. And then we, we break and then we just come across. Cyrex was already there. So Neil actually turned into Cyrex, so he caused that himself. So as we come back from that replay, Neil Farmack under attack from TY. TY gets him round the outside, so Neil definitely with an issue on that car now. Callum in eighth, looks like he might be able to make another place up as well. Seat 111s, and then obviously bits to back there from that error earlier. There's Sarek trying to get rid of a penalty, he's got Tass 1 all over his backside. Meanwhile, this man's still out front, Jamo, in the old Castro coloured uh, Ray Brig NSX, the new NSX with the old 2001 colours on it. Nick Ash second, and then anyone else for third. Ron Ash and Sarek side by side on the straight, the two Nissans battling it out. Now, should I say three, because Tass 1 will be joining them soon. As we go down towards the first corner, it's going to be a battle on the brakes. Rodas on the outside, but Sarek's brakes early just to try and get rid of a bit of a penalty as well. Rodas keeps the position. Task one, looking for any kind of a way around. Neil Farmack gets passed by Callum then up the inside. So Neil going backwards, definitely got some kind of an issue with that car. Callum gets him. So Callum on the move. As we look back at these three for, uh, for third position, Rodas ahead, Sarex. Under attack from Tass 1 as well. Sarek's so got to have eyes everywhere. And he's got eyes in front though, because he's looking at Rodas. He's just a little bit of a tap, I think, but still gets through on the outside. But will Rodas be able to keep the speed on the inside? Oh, wow! Almost contact on the straight. Fantastic stuff. You go down towards Dunlop Corner. Sarek so gets ahead. Rodas, a little bit of a contact with Tass 1, but that couldn't be avoided in the braking zone. Rodas goes on the inside of Sarex. Trying for another little lunge, but nothing worked there. Sarex goes wide to give you space. T.Y. and Callum getting caught up in this now. Callum having a look at T.Y. there on the outside. Meanwhile, Rodas has been allowed to drive by Cyrex. Cyrex gets through. T.Y. having a look at Task 1. All happening here. Fantastic stuff. So it's all of a draft down the straight now. Rodas on Cyrex. T.Y. and Callum and Task 1 close together as well. Neil Farmack to the pits, I was right. Neil Farmack definitely with damage there, heading to the pits. Rodas looking for a way around Cyrex now, into the first corner, on the brakes, on the inside. A little bit of a block pass, brilliant move there by Rodas, completely out of the textbook, brilliant. So Rodas up to third place, good clean move there. Cyrex back down to fourth, we've got to watch out for Tass 1 behind him as well. Well, that'll probably be a corner cut there, because the game is really... Uh, it's really harsh on penalties on that corner, T.Y. under under pressure from Callum, Callum goes to the outside, T.Y.'s on the inside, on the brakes and just has to brake really early just to let make sure Callum is alright, oh Cyrex has gone slow, Cyrex has gone slow there, don't know what happened there, we'll get a replay, here's a replay on lap 6 of what happened to Cyrex, so let's go around here, and then you'll see him break into this corner, brakes, quite late, Rodas, gets hit up the backside. Cyrex uh, probably got damage and so is Rodas and that's what caused Cyrex to be slow. 
But as we come back from that, there's Keith in 10th place, Lilliams moved up to 8th, Neil Farmack back down there after the pits, and Bidster in 12th as well. So not the two championship protagonists all the way down there. There's Jamo still in the lead, Nick Hash, Task 1, just trying to find out, there we are. Here's Callum in fifth place on the move again. Rod Astor is his next target. Rod Astor defends the inside. Callum goes wide to try and get a cut back for a good run onto the straight. And it looks like it's going to work. He's got good traction. And against Rod Astor there. Just going to try and pull alongside enough. Ooh, no, he backs off. Just goes for the draft. Lift off. Go for a little bit of a draft. Get a bit of a boost. And then go move out. Here he goes across the line. Technically ahead. On the inside anyway, so it should be okay into the next corner. Onto the brakes, Rodas very late on the brakes though, around the outside. No, goes too wide. TY says thank you very much as well and goes straight through. So Rodas loses two positions. Just ever so slightly outbraked himself, but gets up, but uh, keeps it on the road, which is the main thing. TY drifting it round that little kink there. As we look at Lilliam in seventh, seat one eighth. I think we've had a few more people in the pit lane. Yep, Sarex in the pits and oh, goes wide out the pits as well. How embarrassing. Keith back in the 13th and Danny Kerr being in the walls as well. As we go back to the battle between Callum and Task 1 and TY, but I think they're just a little bit more spread out now. There they are. So there's Callum and there's Task 1 going through. Task 1 goes very wide there. Whoa. How he got away with that, I do not know. But Task 1 goes through. A little bit wide there, but OK, Rod Ask us through there, and let's see where... Uh, there we are, Bidster and Neil running together in the two Lexuses. So, Bidster and Neil both pushing now, trying to gain him back a bit of time. And there's Seek 1 with Lilliam just ahead. Let's go back onto the straight. There's Callum and Task 1. Again, the battle for third place. Nick Ash a bit further down the road, so he's more or less secure in second for now, unless these lots suddenly get the foot down. Task one in third, getting caught by Callum. Callum's in the draft now. You can see the overspeed. Callum looking for the inside, but no thinks about it. Goes back to the outside, just thinks, right, that's not the place. Oh, TY runs very wide at the first corner there. TY very wide. But all survives as there's Rodas in sixth place. A little bit more spread out now. Lilian runs wide in the task seat. One's going to be right on him there. Lilian runs wide onto the, onto the grass. Seat one looks for a way around. There's, oh, Lilliam lagging, 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 and oh, both cars inside each other. And seat one goes for the undercut on the inside and goes onto the grass. There's no way to go through. As Lilliam defends now. Bidster and Neil both catching up to these two. These two still can't stop touching each other. Seat one tries to go back in for the draft, but no way through there. Let's get back to the battle for third. Task one still ahead of Callum for now. Callum still can't find a way through. I would imagine a wait for the straight and try and do something there. He gets a good run out of here. He'll go wide for the next corner, probably. Yep, goes quite wide. Goes for the for the cutback to get a good run onto the straight. And he's got it, but a bit of a slide and he just loses his speed. He's just got two sideways. There's Lilliam Seek and here's Binster and Neil. Closing up there, trying to attack each other as well. If I were them too, I'd be trying to work together to try and get to the front, but Neil Farmer going for a move on Binster now. Moves out, but no, no way through there, as I think we've got yeah, Lilliam going to the pits. Definitely suffered some damage in that, so Lilliam into the pits. Binster and Neil move up a position each. Neil looking for a way around Binster. Binster says, no, you don't. Goes, to, goes defensive onto the inside. Towards the first corner, onto the brakes. Binster survives and keeps that position for now. Again, T uh, seat one will be, the, will be the next target. As we look back at we look at TY, then the Callum's got through past Task One now. So Callum got through after that. So Callum through into third place. Task One all over the curbs. So Callum will be trying to get on with it now and catch up to this man, Nick Hash, who's been on his own in second place more or less all race, and Jamo's been in control of the race all race. He's in the lead, doing very well, keeping it consistent, keeping it nice. Nick Hash there, and then let's have a look a bit further back. Let's have a look back at the bids to seat one and the Neil, Neil battle, not necessarily in that order, but the order is seat one, bids to Neil, bids to the ever orange colours, seat one in the white and yellow, and Neil Farmack in the bright yellow. Practically a banana on wheels. 
the business practice going on. John Wheels goes for the inside of seat one into the into the corner here. Goes up the inside. Seat one goes a bit wider, and Bidster goes through. Good move there by Bidster. Just kept it back to the inside. Let seat one know of his intentions. Oh, seat one's running wide there though. Neil's gonna go through. No, he doesn't. Neil goes into the wall. Too much power. Got too excited into the wall. Rare mistake there by Neil Farmer. That's not like him at all. Meanwhile, there's Lily Allen Cyrex coming up to him now. I would imagine Neil will go straight into the pits after that. He'll have engine damage, he'll have aero damage, he'll have everything. Might as well get a fresh set of boots on and just try and recover something from this race. So Neil Farmer back down to 12th. Meanwhile, Cyrex and Lillian battling each other on the straight. Lillian defends. Sarek says, no, you don't. I'm going to go through wheel to wheel down towards the first corner. Onto the brake. Sarek runs too wide, though. Lillian says, uh, merci beaucoup. I go through. And then, oh! Cyrex very sideways there on the exit again pushing hard fastest lap of the race so far for Cyrex 126-1 on the right hand side of your screen on his 8th lap that purple bar there there's Lilliam still lagging like hell but uh, not as bad as he were in previous rounds I'll tell you that so Lilliam defends from the inside from Cyrex and goes a bit wide but again you can't really tell where Lilliam is because he's lagging that bad Lilliam needs to really sort his connection out in this Meanwhile, bids the back up to sixth place with seat one behind. TY trying to catch up to task one. And there's Nick Hash and there's Callum. So Callum is catching Nick Hash right slowly. Let's have a look at lap times. If you look on the right hand side of your screen, Nick Hash. 27s all the way down. We're 26 7 that time. But Callum in the fastest lap of the race. 26 0. He is on it like Wallace and Gromit. Onto the brakes, getting rid of a little bit of a penalty as well. That's how hard he's pushing. Out of that first corner, and down the hill, there's Ty and Bids. Bids is a bit quite a bit further back, so there's quite a bit of a gap between them now. Let's have a look, see if we can find any of the battles further down the the order. Cyrex in ninth, William tenth, Mr. Slow on eleventh. Keith and Neil now battling it out for 12th and 13th place after after Neil went in the pits. Keith really struggling with pace in this one. Not really a car and track combination that suits his driving style. Keith moves over to one side. I don't know whether he's going for the pits or Neil Farmer's just going to follow him in the draft. No, they're both not going for the pits. He's just trying to move out the way of the draft. Neil takes the draft, goes round. But Keith, I would imagine, will just follow Neil round, try and get a bit more of a and a pull round the track. Meanwhile, there's Cyrex in ninth place. He's ahead of Lil Yam now, so Cyrex ahead, trying to catch up to Rodas, which is his next, his next victim. Seat one there, following Bidster. Bidster in sixth place. So not a bad recovery by Seat one and Bidster, but again, they could have had the races that were a bit better than them. A bit better than what they've had. As Ty now trying to cut onto the back of Task One. TY's probably been the TY and Callum probably been the most consistent top runners in this championship. So well, I know Callum's not high up in the championship by any means because he's had connection difficulties, but he's a passing Nick Hash now. And he's trying to get himself back up there. There goes Callum. Into second place. Nick Hash now will just have to follow suit and try and keep up with him. 25-6, a 1 minute 25.6 on the right hand side of your screen for Callum right on it, on the pace, doing well next target's Jamo for the lead but Jamo's a bit further ahead he's doing consistent times but with, if you look at the lap times on the right hand side of your screen Jamo made a mistake on lap 10 so 128.3 and then a 127.5 which is about average but then you've got Callum, 26, 26, 25 very, very good lap times there, so that could all change towards the end, so we'll keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, Task 1 has got past Nick Hash now, so Nick Hash going backwards, he must have made a mistake somewhere. Got rattled ever since he got passed by Callum, and he's gone all the way back. TY now is his next title, he's going so wide there, his tyres must have just gone off, or he's just lost his rhythm. Either or, he's gone down a couple of places. over the line there's T. White in 5th place doing well there let's have a little further back we've got seat 1 and Bidster quite close together but again Bidster ahead here's a replay on lap 12 of something that happened to Bidster that we didn't see over the curb and then onto the grass loses it one way, other way 
keeps it off the off the wall under the grass rally crossing and then he just about gets it back on and that's how seat one got right close to the back of Bidsa. Seat one in the draft. As you go over the line, start another lap. We've got another some cars close here. So Sarich has got past Rodas. Rodas has now got Lilian chasing him down in 10th place. Again, the, the car's a bit more spread out now than they were at the start. Rodas, oh, I thought we were going for a move there. We just uh, get rid of a penalty. Maybe, and maybe just slightly outbreaking himself, but not too much. Sarich keeps control of that now. As we go back to Nick Ash, there he is in fourth place. Let's have a look how Callum is, how close is Callum to Jamo. There's Jamo just going through the top of the picture there. So Callum is closing on Jamo, whether he'll have enough time to actually get past near the end of the race, we'll see. As we go up and over the little brow of the hill, onto the one kilometre straight. It is a very long straight, it's a whole kilometre. Plenty of, plenty of, uh, Room to get up to speed. Almost these cars reaching 180, 185 mile an hour at the end of this straight. Jamo on to his last lap then. So Jamo on to his last lap, keeping it consistent. High 28s into uh, well, high, mid to high 27s into low 28s. So again, keeping it consistent. Callum's still in the 26s. So it could be a close finish near the end of this lap. Task one goes through the first corner now. He's got Nick Ash behind him. Again, Nick Ash will be wanting to try and get that podium place back. T.Y. in fifth. Bidster in sixth. We see one a bit closer now, so Bidster must have made a mistake somewhere, but he's closed up a bit. Cyrex goes through in eighth. Rodas and Lillian very close together still in, in ninth and tenth. As they go into the first corner, both take about the same line. Cyrex has gone off! Cyrex has gone off on the last lap! Oh no, Cyrex goes off, back down to 10th. I wonder if he'll have damage if he hit the wall. If so, Mr. Slowon could end up catching him, but Cyrex goes down to 10th. Rodas and Lillian giving a gift. Lillian might even get another place here. Got to watch out for that. There's Jamo and Callum now coming round. Jamo and Callum now coming around the last corner as they go out of there. Jamo gets a good run onto the straight. And Danny Quaver is about to cross the line there, but he's got to do another lap. Jamo wins race two at Fuji. Well done, Jamo. Jamo takes victory. Callum was almost there, but didn't have enough time left. So Callum second place. Task one in third position, followed close up by Nick Hash. Well done there to them two. Good race between them. TY finishes fifth. Bidster's going to be sixth. They'll be not too. Happy Hill, but also seat one in seventh place. So Binster and seat one sixth and seventh. Bits will be okay with that, I suppose. And then Lilian just making sure he doesn't get any draft and just finishes ahead of Rodas by the skin of his teeth. Good finish there by them too. Cyrex is weaving like hell, or he's, he's very much that's the happiest I've ever seen anyone finish in tenth place. Goes across the line. Mr. Slow on in eleventh. Good job there by Mr. Slow on. Neil Farmer, that'll not be what he wanted in 12th place. Keith is going to be in 13th place and Danny Quaver is going to be 14th, I can tell you that now. So, OK guys, let's run through the results then. So it was Jamo who was victor in that, just from Callum in 2nd place. Then in 3rd place it was Task 1. 4th place, Nick Hash. TY in 5th position, first of the championship contenders. Bidster just behind him in 6th place. Seek one in seventh position, Liliam in eighth, rounding off the Belgians, and then ninth was Rodas, tenth was Cyrex, Mr. Slow one in eleventh place, Neil Farmack in twelfth, then it was Keith in thirteenth, and Danny Quaver in fourteenth. Callum is your man with the fastest lap, a 125.633. So, that's the end of the race, guys. There's your winner on the left-hand side of your screen. Jamo, the green and red Honda, the old Castrol colours. So he's the winner of race two, and we'll see you guys later for race three. Take care.